Hey everyone, it's Lynette Chandler from TechBaseMarketing.com. Today's video is a suggestion by a good friend, Lexi Rodrigo, and she blogs over at AlexisRodrigo.com. Do you visit her? She's got a great blog going on there. But Lexi asked me recently if I could do a demo of how to use Evernote uh, in a context of a a, an internet marketer, uh, one of the things that she suggested was, you know, how about uh, showing how you would use it to write a book or you know, just about anything we internet marketers would be con into. And I said, sure. And so here we are. Now, I think one of the things I, I just want to, this is just an opinion. One of the things that I find is a problem for a lot of people when, when I talk about Evernote is the fact that it is not very structured. I mean, Evernote, it is anything you want it to be. I'll be frank with you, when I first started using Evernote, and, I'm, and it was a whole lot different than what it is today, I really couldn't get it. I, I did not understand what the hype was all about. Thankfully, later on, I decided to come back to it. Now, I would say I understand it, but I, I use it the way that is good for me. Whatever I show you here, they are not set in stone. Evernote can be used any way that you find suits you. Now if you look at the screen here, uh, this, is, this is actually Evernote desktop. What you would see is a list of notebooks. And these are lists of tags. My tags lists actually go a whole lot further than that. You know, I've got lots and lots of tags, as you see here. But I like to keep my notebooks to a bare minimum and then use tags to organize all the information inside, or rather to group the information inside the notebook. So I have huge notebooks, but I can also easily jump directly to uh, parts of the notebooks where all relevant information can be put together with tags. Um, and this is this may not be the way that you like to use that you will want to use Evernote. You know, I know some people actually have tens and even hundreds of notebooks. If that's the way you want, that's fine. Because originally I started with a lot of notebooks too. I had a notebook for every one of my websites that you see that are now in the tags. But after a while, I found that a little bit constricting because a note can exist in only one notebook. All right, so that's a little basic organization here, but I just briefly want to show you. How would I use Evernote if I were to, say, plan a new product? If it is a one-off project that I need to get off the ground, I'll probably start a new notebook. So let's say I'll create a new notebook here and say write a crochet book. Okay. And then I have the choice of whether I want it to be local or synchronized. I always choose synchronized because I want my content, I want my notes to be available everywhere that I go. Uh, because I never know where inspiration might hit and I never know when I might see something that I really want to save. It could be a picture, it could be somebody doing something, it could be somebody whom I can interview, you know. I might also probably find the people who I could work with. So in that case, I might go look in my business cards. Of course, I don't have business cards for everybody, but I might find somebody here. Okay, let's say there, and I might drag and drop this person into my notebook right there. So this is one person that I could talk to and I could put extra tags. I could also put in the same idea, you know, possible, whoops, let me move my screen again, possible partner or for to hire. Okay. And then, what else could I do in here? I could also create a master note. Okay, I create a new note and I'm gonna say 
basically here what I'll do is I'll do a brain dump okay uh, what are the things I would need like who do I work with what domain names or do I need maybe I would need an e-cover I would need a proofreader you kinda get the idea and then mm, let's see another thing that I could do is I could also put a link to competitor sites that I wanna mimic like I've got here a site called crochet.com right? and what I could do is maybe I like some of the things uh, maybe I like that then I would use Evernote my Evernote desktop clipper I might clip a screenshot right there and then it would appear on Evernote as a screen clip then I would give it a name and say I like this and then I'll give it a tag say competitor you can actually clip other ways to select and do right click and save to Evernote right here I have an add to Evernote and then if you do that it will give you the link saved automatically but I can also uh, save my link automatically by clicking click to set uh, not location click to set source URL and then that way I can always come back and review the site I would also use this a notebook to create articles so let's say article 1 or I give it a title you know uh, crochet basics and then I would put this for re uh, reprint reprint uh, and then repurpose as you see I've done that maybe I could create a podcast out of it uh, and I could have multiple articles and I will actually write the article in here I could also create emails let's create an email schedule for affiliates and then I would write first email uh, what is the subject and then I'll put a tentative date and then second email what is the subject and then another date and then what I do is when things kind of firm up a little bit I come back and kind of put a use this right there and then I'll actually write the email and you know even though I put a date in here I don't necessarily use Evernote as a project manager uh, some of these things will eventually get transferred into a project manager where I would get reminders uh, on my phone and on my calendar what's due and, and and help me actually organize as far as time sensitivity is concerned but what I'm doing here in Evernote is actually to dump all my thoughts all my ideas all the information all you know all the bits and pieces of things people are throwing at you sometimes you may be at a, a meeting let's say you have a mastermind meeting and there you are talking at a webinar and so on and forth and somebody gives you an idea that's when I would quickly open up a note and jot it in here uh, and even if I don't jot everything down I would at least jot down say okay we talked about this roughly uh, 20 minutes into the webinar so that way I know when I replay the webinar I can go ahead and jump directly to the spot and then I can come back to the note and add more of my notes for the ideas and so on and forth there are so many things I mean I've got a full list of things that I could put in this notebook and if you wanna uh, get the the full list you might wanna come over to our blog techbasedmarketing.com and do a search or you could go to uh, my friend's site uh, LexiRodrigo.com I would give her a copy of this list too alright thank you so much for for your time I'll talk to you again